All right, people. So I want to touch touch on the topic of Sting here. You know, so Sting obviously did not have a great match there at Night of Champions, health wise. Uh, his health basically took a shit at Night of Champions. He fucking collapsed. You know, he he, he was power bombed into the turnbuckle, and that 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 did something to his body. And you could see his body was like all bruised too. You know, and it was pretty clear to me. He wasn't in any shape to really compete. Now, he did take a pretty good uh, uh, fall there through the table, obviously. They didn't remove the, um, um, what's it fucking called, the, the monitors. So, I mean, he took a pretty nice shot there. But the normal person, you know, the normal wrestler would not collapse because of that. And they wouldn't collapse because of, of getting power bombed into the uh, turnbuckle. Now, I, I see some people saying, give him a break. He's 50-some years old. Well, no, we don't get breaks here in WWE. If you're 56 years old, you know, you, I still hold you up pretty much to the same standards as, as I do, you know, a, a younger talent because I want to, you, you know, I, I'm still watching the product. You know, I'm still, you know, just because you're 56 doesn't mean you improve you know, you get bonus points or anything like that. You know, I still hold you up to the same standard. It's, it's still the same thing I'm watching. You know, so I don't get that. I don't get that argument right there. And, and we got all these old people, you know, who are fi in their fifties wrestling. You know, like Sting and Undertaker, who are like collapsing every fucking match they're in. You know, they're collapsing after it, and it really begs the question: Are they are they in um, shape to compete? Should they be competing in there? Should they be in the main events? Should the should younger people, um, you know, like Rollins, Cesaro, Kevin Owens, be in the main events more? People who do not collapse during their matches should they be, you know, in a more prominent spot than, say, a Sting? And I think yes. You know, you you look at Sting is just it's just like, the the match was shitty. The match fucking sucked. It was a, a god awful match. You know, boring didn't even really make sense, you know, like, Rollins loses to Cena, but then beats Sting, you know, and, and then Sting's fucking collapsing, they have to stop the match, it was just a total disaster for the most part, so, you know, St Sting was in no, and this was his only fucking match, you know, you figure he hasn't wrestled in six months, so he's at, you know, his peak health level, you know, a wrestler who's wrestled, like, every fucking day of the year, like Rollins, you know, is is probably sore, probably has some, you know, uh, some shit wrong with him, but you, you figure Sting is at his peak health performance, and he fucking can't even, can't even make it through the match without falling over, I mean, it, it's fucking pathetic, you know, and I'm really getting tired of all these part-timers and these old people, you know, getting spots over talented people like Rollins, in, in in all the and a lot of people are saying that the plan was to have um, uh, Sting win, and I think that might have been the plan. So, it, it, you know, I'm just and there's a lot of part timers and older people I like, um, you know, who who still can, can wrestle. Like uh, Brock Lesnar, obviously is a you know look at Brock Lesnar, he's in great shape great wrestler, you know, great talent, but a lot of older people are just really sucking, you know, look at Undertaker, his last two WrestleMania matches have been pretty shitty, Sting fucking collapsing, Undertaker collapsing as well, you know, it, you gotta ask the question, when is it time to fucking hang up your boots and retire, and yet, and let the younger people, you know, get, get the spotlight, I mean, Sting is, you know, in that match, we could have had Seth Rollins versus, like, a Cesaro or a, or, or a younger guy. But instead, we have Seth Rollins versus Sting, and the match fucking sucked. I mean, the company has got... We got to move on. You know, there's a point we got to move on and say, okay, enough's enough with these older people. It's time for the next generation of people. And, and as I said, you could have a little bit of the legends, you know, wrestling if they still can. Have that a little bit. But the primary focus should be for the future. Should be you know guys in their twenties and thirties, not guys in their four in their late forties, fifties, and sixties. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on that.